up some two cycle oil for our little mini cultivator thing and the, the string trimmer and my chainsaw and now we're heading back to the town we live in so that we can get some gas. Uh, I need both gas and diesel. Uh, I might as well fill my truck up. Consider getting something that gets a little better fuel mileage. I drive this thing 70 miles a day and it gets maybe 15 miles per gallon. So fuel is kind of expensive, but personally I feel a lot more comfortable in my big four-wheel drive truck than I did driving a either a little Subaru WRX or the little Ford Focus I had. Uh, you know, fun little cars, nimble, you know, quick cars, but I just am, I'm, I'm a full drive person. Uh, if I had the money to get my 77 Bronco fixed and back on the road, I would definitely do that. Uh, maybe I will take a walk out to the shed and shoot a little video of the Bronco. Uh, and currently, I have a wiring harness that I need to replace in there, and I believe the fuel pump went out. Uh, I converted it over to fuel injection uh, back in 2003 and 2004, and then I drove it as my, my everyday vehicle all the way up until 2000. And Eight, end of 2008 uh, when I moved from Iowa down by St. Louis uh, so you know, now we live just outside of St. Louis I, I haven't really driven my Bronco hardly at all since 2008 that's just ridiculous I've had the thing since 1998 so uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a big deal coming up on owning thing for 20 years, and unfortunately right now it's, it's not drivable. It won't even start and run. So hopefully I can do that. And, and I've, got a, I've got an old 52 Ford truck out there in the shed, an old grain truck. The bed has been taken off. Uh, all the dump, uh, the dump cylinder and the PTO and all of that stuff is still there. Uh, when I got the truck, I got it running, uh, did a full tune-up, it's really all it took, uh, but it, it, it's got a two-speed rear end that you couldn't shift out of low. Uh, there was a vacuum leak in the line somewhere, or maybe the diaphragm was bad, I don't know. I didn't really investigate it much, but, uh, so I've got that truck, that's another project that at some point, at some point, maybe I'll get around to doing. But, you know, I've got little kids, I've got a full-time job, I have a lot of, a lot of upkeep on our property, on our house, so I don't, I don't have a whole lot of time. Uh, and I get up, generally I get up at either 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. to go to work, and that allows me to come home at, you know, I can generally get home around 2, 2.30, maybe 3.30. But once I'm home, that's time for me to spend with my kids. So I, I don't. I try not to do too many projects, you know, when I could be spending time with them. Which means I have a lot of stuff just piled up. But a few projects I've actually started just recently. Uh, I'm building an LED message board for my church. I purchased. I purchased. I think either two or three thousand of these little LEDs on, on strips, on strip tape and stuff. Um, and I'm making a two-sided sign. Uh, right now, I just have a proof of concept built. I built it with uh, five meters of the LEDs, with 60 LEDs per meter. And I'm driving it with a particle photon right now. Which is, it's kind of cool. Um, I, I wrote the 
firmware on the Photon, and I actually wrote uh, a Windows application uh, written in C Sharp that allows me to, I can send te different uh, uh, text messages to the screen. I can, I tell, I've got a, a button that allows it to display the time and date. Uh, it pulls the time and date from the particle cloud every time it connects. Uh, so that, and that's kept up to date. Uh, the thing has a real time clock, so as long as I put a battery on it, that'll be fine. Um, so that's one project that I've been working on. Oh wow, it just got really quiet in here without the, the noise of the wind. But I've got the windows down on my truck here because it's an absolute beautiful day outside. Uh, and the little instrument on the dash of the truck says it's 80 degrees. 80 degrees outside in at the end of July. That's just, that's insane. Seems to me that it used to be a lot warmer this time of year, but yeah, I've got a pretty poor memory when it comes to that sort of thing. So, um, <laughs> my little one is over here. She's kind of hanging in there. Hi, Casey. <laughs> smiles. Oh, she's got the cutest smiles. Uh, anyway, I tried to roll the windows up, but uh, she threw a fit. She wants the windows down. She likes the wind in her hair. normally sitting in the back of our other vehicle. Uh, we tried to do the minivan thing and it just wasn't cutting it. Uh, we had a, a, a crew cab F-150, an FX4. I love that truck. But we, we had our fourth daughter. You know, there just wasn't enough room anymore. So we had to get rid of it and get something bigger. Um, I, bought, I bought my wife a uh, 2015 Expedition, the long one, the EL, and it has the EcoBoost V6, it's four-wheel drive, it seats eight, it's, it's comfortable, it's big enough, it's, uh, it's a joy to drive, so, this is the only vehicle that uh, gives, gives my daughters a chance to feel the wind in their hair, so to speak. Again, if I had my 77 Ford Bronco running. We could we could go out and hit. Uh, I've got currently got a soft top on there. The hard top is sitting in the shed. Uh, you know, so we can either take the top off, take the windows out of the sides, take the back window out. You know, I mean, uh, options, options, love options. Got to get it running. Need to get it running. Oh, holy cow! There's an airplane. Let's see. I don't know if we can see the airplane there or not, but. Maybe it's a crop duster. Yep, it's a crop duster. Looks like he's coming in, coming in for another dusting. I wonder if I can catch this as he, as he fly. I think he's gonna fly right over the road. Maybe. Here, let's let's take a peek and see what happens. I'll have to review that later and so and see if I can see him or not. Uh, I can definitely smell it. Yuck. Alright. Well, we're almost back to town. We're, like I said, we're going to get some uh, fuel for my diesel tractor. Yes, that, that is the cell tower. Uh, fuel for my diesel tractor. Uh, gasoline for my mowers. And, uh, and for the dirt bikes. Gotta have fuel for the dirt bikes. Uh, Mine is just, I, I, I bought both myself and my daughter little Chinese dirt bikes. So, we will we'll get them fueled up and we'll go, we'll go do some riding. I, I've got nearly 10 acres, plenty of room to ride. Uh, not, not, a lot of, not a lot of trails, but we haven't had any time to spend making trails since we just got the dirt bikes. So, yeah, uh, right now we just, we just ride in the grass. Uh, my front yard is a couple acres, so it's perfect. All right. Well, uh, you know, let's let's uh, let's let's try to make another video when we come when it comes time to ride dirt bikes. I know uh, I love dirt bikes. I'm sure other people love dirt bikes. No telling whether anybody will like to watch me riding dirt bikes. But hey, who cares? Uh, yeah. So, all right. 
Thanks.